The drama. <laughs> we just ran through JFK um, to get Kennedy a PCR test because apparently you have to have a PCR test to board uh, for minors who are not vaccinated. She's half an aided. Um, and we have rapid tests. It said PCR test in less than 72 hours or a rapid test in less than 48 hours. But this lady at Air France wants to fight and I'm not ready to fight. So we have to rush over here. We have to pay, I paid $220 for a PCR test. We're standing here, it takes an hour. What time is it, seven? It's 7.08, 7 10. Our flight board is at 7.35. And so the woman at the desk said it, it can probably come in 25 to 35 minutes. And the gentleman just said he can he thinks he can get it to us in 20 minutes. So they keep saying they're going to send us an email. But I don't trust email because our last uh, rapid test email was a no-go. And this, um, I'm going to wait for the printout. We're gonna wait for the printout. All right. <sighs> Disaster. I made it on the airplane, but here's the thing. It was such a shit show boarding Air France. It was a total shit show, total nightmare. We boarded terminal one, and we usually board terminal four at JFK, but they reopened terminal one. So we had to rush over to terminal one. And it was just like I'm sweating. I was supposed to eat. I still haven't eaten, but we are in our seat. And guess who got the window seat? Normally they get the window seat, but I got the window seat and we should put the bag down. The window seat. Kennedy! Say hi. And where's Calvin? He has to say hi to the people. Mr. Boyd is really bad. Mr. Boyd is upset because he had to hop over to put my bag up. I'm talking to the people. He had to hop up and put my bag up, so he was a little upset. But we made it. We are here. And let's hope we get to France with no problems. And the flight is packed, people. The flight is packed. There's so many people on this flight. I thought it was gonna be us and a few people. Literally, France opened up last week, last week Wednesday, and there are already all these people on the flight. Also, you may notice that my mask has changed. It was a green mask, but it was a cloth mask, but they make me put this on for the duration of flight, which is fine. I don't have any problems with that. Y'all know I, I deal with all the compliance. So it's a packed flight, but we're live and we're definitely in the building. It's a pretty, it's a relatively small room. Beautiful view though. I just like the streets of Paris. Yeah, so we are just going to, I am just going to relax a little bit. It's supposed to rain basically the entire time like this. That's allegedly that's what they say. Um, like it's supposed to be raining, yeah, it's not raining. So it's like actually sunny and really nice outside. It's probably like 75 degrees, even though I think it's supposed to be like a 90 today, but um, we're like around the corner from the Amos, George B. store. Mm. Very tempting. Okay, so we are outside of our hotel looking for food. Kennedy. Mr. B. <laughs> um, so yeah, I actually think we're gonna just get, oh, he said he's gonna do mask off. They lifted the mask mandate yesterday, but I just feel like as an American, I need to be, I need to keep the, the ticket, oh, they are giving out tickets. I need to keep the mask on. So, we're about to go get something to eat. Cafe in Paris. It's across from the hotel that we are staying at. It's just a day use hotel. I'm talking loud because I feel like something is out. And there's the something. Um, so yeah, we're just we're just having coffee. We're about to have a little lunch, and then we're going to 
go do just a little bit of shopping before we take our clothes to our Airbnb where we are staying for the next four days. because sometimes there's actually great things that I can fit. The largest size, like 13, 14, especially in like tops. I obviously can't fit the bottom. I can't fit Zara bottoms um, that are not, you know, that are like women's size. See, look at that, I can't fit that. Not the bottom, but I can fit the top. I can definitely fit the top. They have a lot of cute stuff, anyway. The reason why I like to shop at Zara, let me try to step into some sunlight. The reason why I like to shop at Zara in Europe is because they have a lot of stuff that we don't have in the United States yet. They also preview a lot of their collections here um, before. It, it's, it's usually like a couple of weeks and it's also cheaper here. It's cheaper. You know, Zara is cheaper. If you can imagine Zara getting even cheaper. But Zara do actually have some expensive pieces. So not, let me not act like Zara don't get expensive because they can get expensive. Um, but yeah, so just shopping in Zara. We already went to Zara home, so just shopping in Zara. All right, so this is our Paris Airbnb. This is one bedroom with a little closet area, very cute. This is the cute little living area with the TV. That's our little kitchenette area super cute and then we have another bedroom and another bedroom so this is one of the bathrooms that probably Calvin will be using and down the hallway that's our room that will be that's Calvin's luggage um, and this is the bathroom that me and Kennedy will be sharing. Yeah, so super big, spacious, enough space for me and Kennedy things. There's Mr. B moving his luggage. Well, he's moving my luggage. He's actually moving my stuff. moving my stuff over there. Mm -hmm. I love this cute little area. Super cute. Yeah. And this is Kennedy's little area. She has the best lighting. The lighting is so good. Right, Kennedy? Yeah. I love that lighting. She has a side street view. Oh, it's a shop across the street, right? There's a shop everywhere in Paris. So this is the street. We'll be here for like four days. This isn't too bad. Oh, it's busy because it's rush hour. So you see, Paris is definitely back, people. It's definitely, it's definitely here. So, yeah. That's one little view of her. another view over here it's kind of the same view but it's a more busy street so love that love that 
Okay, so good morning. We are walking to our first brunch location, lunch location, breakfast location, breakfast, not lunch. Um, it's called Sunday in Soho. It's a black owned restaurant. And I'm super excited because it serves American breakfast which I think is one of the best breakfasts you can have in the world, in my opinion. So I'm excited about that. See y'all at brunch. breakfast this is a very oh, delicious breakfast super good look at the pancakes so mm -hmm. so good favorite vintage store in all of the world is closed. It's closed for construction. It's closed for construction. And I don't know how to feel about it. I am so sad that it is closed for construction, but it is closed. It is closed. It is very quiet in the morning. It is a Friday morning. A lot of people are at work. But it's just super quiet. It's actually not that good. It's like 10.30 in the morning. Ooh, look at this place. I see the stores. It's like a lovely store on every corner in Paris, which I can appreciate. So we are trying to get so we're going to get a COVID test. Um, we don't know if we need to get a COVID test, test to travel in country, pretty sure we do not. But because we went through this situation at the airport um, in JFK, we are like a little bit self-conscious. So we're gonna go get a COVID test and we might specifically need it for Kennedy. So we wanna get a COVID test. So we are in the pharmacy and we have to get Kennedy a test and she is so scared because this is the longest one we've ever taken. So she's watched us take it and she's like crying her eyes out. But we don't have a choice. We have to take it in order to leave.
said this is worth, he would only pay $500 for this. And pan to him, he's a hater. Disengage. Gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah, it's a Okay, day three. Day whatever. Day three. All right, so we are outside of a black owned restaurant. It is Juneteenth, and this is where we wanted to spend. Juneteenth for brunch. We rearranged our St. Laurent tickets to the St. Laurent Museum in order to eat here, but they're closed. They are closed, and so it kind of sucks because now we have to scramble to find another place to eat, and it's already noon. So that's one of the biggest challenges that I'm, you know, having um, is there's a number of things closed that I didn't expect to be closed. But my assumption is that they're closed because it's Juneteenth and they are Black Americans. And so maybe they are observing Juneteenth. Possibly. I don't know. So we are at Breakfast in America. That's the new spot that we're at. Um, and they serve like an American breakfast. So we're about to get in. vintage and it moved so this is a temporary location so we are at the temporary location and I'm actually super excited about that. I'm about to go up in here okay and see what they do. Uh, there's also this cool watch out Ken for a second there's this cool there's Kenny and Cam <laughs> there's also this cool like Adidas exhibit where they have like this gold rim and they have like this blue I can't even see it but it's actually super cool so check that out really quickly. Departure, so. 